it's when I'm not honoring my activator. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. And I've used the, my priorities to manipulate that more. So I will overthink and not take action if I'm not getting those hits of testosterone and adrenaline through my training. Yeah. I was doing really well on my training until, well, I broke my shoulder. Um, that was a year ago. It was April. And, but then I went into eight and a half months of therapy, and and that was really active. I had a fabulous therapist, and of course, she didn't just work on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. She did the whole schmear. So I got into a really good routine and stuff. And then right after that, I went on two long trips, month-long trips, uh, back to back, and and then we got into this virus thing, and I have just... You know, I'm just beating myself up because mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not in a routine. And mm-hmm. sometimes I just kind of scream and I jump up and I have to go jump on my trampoline or have to do, <laughs> do something. <laughs> but I, I, I just, I don't know what has been with my motivation. Mm-hmm. I, I have been all my life. I've been a, a sports enthusiast and a dancer all my life since I was two or whatever you know and um always trainings and trainings i mean i was a hot shot tennis player i was a hot shot skier i was a i was a marathon runner i was i was a sled dog racer in alaska for for nine years nine years i you know i was a mountain climber i was you know and trainings 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 and they just turned me on trainings just turned me on yeah you know and uh and now I don't know what it is. Of course, I'm much older. I'm retired, and and I'm in a foreign country. And you know, I I don't know. I, I think it's some mental thing. So I'm wor- I'm working with Ann Larson on some uh, awesome. emotional issues. And that's and, so uh, good. I'm so glad you said that. Yeah, those yeah. kinds of things. And. Yeah, and, and right now, I mean, the last couple of weeks, I've, it's been a lot, lot um, better, a lot, lot better. Mm-hmm. I think those first three or four weeks of the quarantine were really, really hard for me. I mean, I just went into a shell, you know, mm-hmm. and I just couldn't get myself to do anything. Mm-hmm. But now I'm, I've got projects and I, I'm, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. You know? uh, <laughs> but yeah. I need to do that fitness. I need to say, okay, you know, at seven o'clock, I'm going to do this. Usually at seven o'clock, I do my mm-hmm. morning routine. That's not a problem. But then in the afternoon at two or three, I need to do something and I'm having a Zoom meeting or I'm, or I'm, I've got to do this or I've got to do, you know, yeah. I just... I let myself, I, I don't know, I don't know. I kick myself in the butt. <laughs> well, luckily today, we're all about stress management and for activators, the first place we go is fitness. So good, we can good, good. come up with something today. <laughs> luckily. Um, what does your, do you mind if I ask what you do? I'm retired. Oh, so what are you busy doing? I've I've been retired for seventeen years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now that you're too busy, busy doing right now my yeah. project that I looked for for a year and a half, and I finally found last uh, December is uh, I postmasters uh, here in Medellin. I started with masters before quarantine. I um, yeah, we're we're forming uh, an English club so good. for Spanish for Spanish speakers. Wow. Yeah, so it's everybody is uh, English as a second language. Yep. Except the two organizers, uh, Peter's from Canada and I'm from the United States. Mm-hmm. And Peter's just now uh, since the quarantine, he had to leave the country, so. Now I'm the only one here, and he's just on Zoom once a week, you know. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I'm doing all this stuff and now we have officers and I'm trying to get the officers all trained and I'm coordinating with headquarters and I'm getting all the manuals and stuff and we can't have shipping and, and you know, there's just lots of things. Two or three Zoom meetings a, a day sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that excites me because I love organizing things and starting things and and for me this is uh, well this was an intention I set actually three years ago when I moved to Medellin that I wanted a project but I was so I, I was put, put off constantly put off because my Spanish is poor mm -hmm. and everything I wanted to do I needed good Spanish to do it mm -hmm. to teach you know yeah. or or to work in a, an organization or, you know, those kinds of, and this just dropped in my lap. Um, I just got this email one day from Meetup saying, um, there's a new English, English um, Toastmasters forming in Medellin. Are you, are you interested? And I, I called up Peter and I said, yeah, I want to help you organize. Awesome. So then I just, just took off. So, but, the thing is, I'm meeting so many wonderful Colombians mm -hmm. that I can talk to, that I can yeah. talk to. Yay! And, <laughs> and the people that are in met, uh, in Toastmasters are all go-getters. You know, they're yeah. all the 20, 20 and 30-somethings. I think we've got a guy who might be in his late 40s or, you know, but, but anyway, um, you know, and I love to mentor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I just, I mean, it's just exactly what I was hoping for. So Perfect timing by the sounds of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. very excited about that. So that's what I'm so busy doing. Plus my PH360 stuff, Sharna knows that I've been, I've been a, probably a pain in her butt the last <laughs> six months. I'm a pain in her butt too, don't worry. I'm like... Oh, now what do I do with this? Now what do I do? You know, it was six months ago when they changed me to an activator. And wow. every, it, it's been tough, you know. It's been, what do I do about this? And uh, this isn't working. Why, why about that? And before that, and that, 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 yeah. that, and, you know. <laughs> and so, I mean, I'll take a nice run for three or four weeks, and then I'll fall flat on my face, you know. Mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. pick myself up again and go this way and yeah so um but we're getting there we're getting there did you start to feel better after after changing things in your profile or what did you change and what happened when you uh, found out that you were actually an activator to the activator well it was a huge change in the schedule you yeah. know diplomats get up late and stay up late Mm. Uh, and I had liked that in some ways and had done that a lot in my career and, you, you know, mm. working, uh, I always stayed up late, you know, and, um, but now, I mean, that's, that's the basic big change, plus the whole diet thing, because diplomats mm. have lengthy uh, elementary canals and um, activators have really short digestion periods, you know, and, and it's like I'm eating all different things. It changed mm. my whole mm. thing around. And I was not happy with a, a number of the things that I was eating as a diplomat and the way I was eating as a diplomat, yeah. but I kept doing it. You yeah. Know? And I've had IBS and Crohn's and, uh, you know, all kinds of digestive disorder over the last 30 years, you know, coming and going, coming and going, and, and it would flare up and, you know, well, stick to your program, stick to your program, mm -hmm. okay, you know, and the detox was terrible, you know, it was all oh. raw salads and stuff, and it's just exactly the opposite of what I needed. Oh, and you get so hungry. Right. Yeah, and I got sick. Yeah, I mean, wow. it was hard to digest, and my yeah. poor, my poor little gut was so mm -hmm. sick. Yeah. You know? And um, 
So that's slowly getting better. And, Isn't yeah. that really Now it's interesting to see you embracing the new activator way in you. It's been a, it's been a slow process of the activator questioning the why and then coming into actually integrating from the, the knowledge of, because you committed so, so well to being a diplomat. You are so fully committed. You've been such an incredible client that you were like, okay, I'll do the thing. I don't feel good, but I'll do the thing because you're telling me to. And, mm -hmm. and that's been such a wonder to treat you with that and, and have that. But then when the algorithm shifted, now it's that um, letting go of the old and making way for the new for you, which has just been incredible, Angela. Yeah. Um, yeah it does take time. I mean, Sharna, how long have I been with you? About a year and a half, something like that. And I know, and, and you would tell me so often, and I just love you for it, you know. Oh, I love coaching you. You know, you're such a great client, and, uh, you know. And now, I don't know if you say that, because I'm always, <laughs> I'm always saying, well, why are they doing this? Like, I just sent you eight questions. Did you see those today? No. Yeah, yeah well, yet. one, just you know, one, one of them said, well, for one thing, my Shea is not working with this booster, with this immune booster. I'm not getting any daily things. I started on Saturday. I posted three days before Saturday that I was going to start on Saturday, but I'm supposed to be getting my daily routine. I don't get it. And on my oh. phone, I don't even have the booster. No, you don't. You uh, won't. The, it, it is only on desktop. Did you get that video I sent you with the setup video? That video would have gone through showing you where it all was and how it all works. So it's only on um, desktop that you get the immune booster. And once you initiate it, you have to go through that top banner on your computer and initiate the whole way through the banner and through all the questions and all the setup. And yeah. um, I did all that and I chose my date for Saturday the 18th. Yep, and uploaded a photo. And I'm doing it I'm on my computer. I'm doing it, but I'm not getting the notifications. I'm supposed to get a daily email, right, that says, or something on my PH360 site or something that says daily routine. I haven't yeah. seen any emails come through from me uh, on, on mine either, but um, what we have been doing is just getting everyone to go in via the computer. Say, so, do you want me to jump over there and, and go to that page? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because it says, Definitely. you know, I go to the immune booster and then I go to, what is it, um, setup, I guess. And um, and then it says, you know, do this and this and this. And the, I think the third step is look at your daily routine. Mm, that's in day, here. I'll show you where that is. Day one. And then it has it shows a picture of a screen, which you can't click on because it's just a picture of the screen showing you day one routine. Okay. Yeah, you go there, you go on the yeah. And, and once it's once it's finished oh. and it's initiated, it will give you this here. Oh, where is that? So if you go yeah. through here, you go the, the protocol, the 10 day schedule, the immune support, preparation, checklist, top tips, start date, meal planner tracking and in tracking you have to upload a photo answer some lifestyle questions and then it will bring you into the full um oh well, i didn't put in a photo okay so you just need to go back into the banner and finish off that protocol at the top and then it'll come up day one two three four five six yeah okay because that's what i was looking for and i wrote to willa and i said ah my app's not working ah. <laughs> this picture right here this picture right here here yeah. oh yeah that's uh, just uh yeah that gives me a video might be your internet connection too sometimes hmm. so then hmm. you start your date continue planner will come up oh i already started mine now that comes up and then it came up again on the 19th i mean i did start on the 18th this one that's that's yeah so then this is once you've done all of it along the top and you've gone through and uploaded your photo and you've gone through and you've answered your lifestyle questions of how you're currently feeling, then you'll get access to this 10 day program. And in the 10 day program, it will lie out for you, your schedule. What, what is with the photo? I don't know. What They're a video. The... What? They are a video. They're a direct link to a video. No, upload my photo. 
Mm. It's just of yourself. It's for yourself. It's just for accountability for how you look when you start and how you look when you finish. Well, well, I sent those ones in for Dr. G. That'd no. be perfect. Grab those. Okay, so I don't know how to. I don't know how to upload a photo. I don't. You just click you know, the button. I, I tried to skip that, and then it wouldn't. You know, and then it doesn't. I feel go your up. pain. I get it. <laughs> So yeah, so on that last one, all you need to do is go into tracking and here it will give you an upload button. You click the upload button and then it will allow you to go into your computer and search out the photos of which you want to upload. And then it will just do that for you. That's all you do is just click the button and follow the process. Oh, am I frozen? There we go. There you are. There you are. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, yeah, so you'd go into that section um, and click the button and it will upload automatically. Okay. And then, and then the next thing I do though, how you're feeling and then, and then the rest of it, it just does by itself. Right? Yep. So you go through step one, upload your image, click there, follow the process. Step two, it will ask how you're feeling. You'll click the button and it will ask you a series of questions of your thoughts and emotions and processes. Uh, it will talk about the measurements of tracking and then you just hit continue and it will bring you into the 10 day planner. Oh, now it wants to ask me these questions. I'm not going to answer that again. <laughs> there is a cheap way. If you get to that point and you're like me and you're going, I'm not going to answer those questions again. If you go back to step number two and go to the bottom and hit continue, there's a cheat. It will send you across to your protocol. <laughs> oh, see, that's the, that, but that one right there, backup one. Back up one. It had that little screen. Yeah, that for me is a video. Okay. So that's, if you click that, that's a video on your computer. I tried to click it and it wouldn't do it. Is that because I didn't put my photo in? No, no, no. That should still work. No, it wouldn't let me do anything because I didn't put my photo in, I guess. Because I did my measurements. I did all that. I did the how's your feeling, but I didn't put my photo in and it wouldn't let me do that. Yeah, yeah, so you've got to put your photo in to finish it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> because they want you to be fully accountable and fully visible. And so you can see your tar start point because 98% of the time when people do the reset protocol, they get to the end of it and they go, man, I wish I had have actually gotten out of my own way and taken the photo. Because yeah, now I know. But what's the photo for? For me, what's the photo for? I don't want to lose weight. You can even just take a photo of your face. Sometimes I notice my face reduces puffiness and just the my skin and my eyes and stuff like that sometimes. Yeah, that would be of more interest to me than, I mean, I'm already, like I I don't know if you've read my stuff the last couple of days, Shana, but, but I've lost four pounds in the last five days and I don't want to lose weight. So we need to get you eating um, the correct styles yeah, of food and really and dropping that diplomat way and really shifting out of that diplomat way and bring you properly into the activator way. And one of the things I'm concerned about with this 10-day uh, protocol, the reset, is no calories. You know, so one of my questions was, can I have quantity i mean i made i made a big one of the recipes i made it for four and i ate more than half of it at a yeah. sitting is that okay i mean it's got to be okay because i was i need I, I mean if i just eat the three um recipes that they give me in a day i've got less than a thousand calories and okay. i can't do that i yeah, can't eat do more. that Eat more regularly. So would you say as well, Shana, so you can still eat more regularly, just eat five meals a day. Yes, and as big as I want, as long as it's only those things. I would say increase the frequency for you rather than the size of the meals, just because of how the activated gut works. If you overload it to like two bigger meals, it doesn't really like it. So I would go more frequent. Mm. 
Okay, so even more frequent than five because one of the one of the things in the beginning says um, try to um, uh, snack as much as you want, especially if they're antioxidants. So I've been yeah. doing that in between. In between, I, I've been trying to eat at 10, 12, 2, 4, and 6. Right. And, and I'm snacking in between that because I'm hungry. I found the same. I was hungry I as well. I totally can. Yeah. Or make a small smoothie or, or eat, some, eat a carrot or, you know, it's all the same things, mostly raw vegetables and fruits. What day are you, you know? on now? Today was two. two. Day two. Yeah. Um, so Fair to speak from experience. <laughs> I was so frustrated at being hungry. And so I think I did, I can't remember if I did three days or five days. I did whatever was recommended. I, it was about two months ago I did it. That's why I'm not doing it again because I did it a few months ago. Activators don't need to detox frequently or to do this frequently. Um, so, and I was saying the same to Shana, I'm just so hungry. I eat and then I'm almost like, what's the point of eating? I'm hungry immediately after. <laughs> like Chinese food. All the meals are Chinese food, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all vegetables. I didn't realize how much protein I ate. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, well, no protein, no grains, no seeds, no nuts. I, I mean, usually what I do, I walk by the kitchen counter and I've got nuts sitting all over it and I just take a handful of nuts, you know, and that's what I've always done. But now these five days, no nuts, no <laughs> seeds, no grains, no dairy, no, no, no cheese. No. And that was a question too, like edamame. Um, it's one of my green foods and, uh, and it's beans, it's vegetables, and you can have them cooked or, or uncooked, you know, cold or, or warm. But it's high protein. Can I not eat those? It doesn't say to not eat those. In your protocol, and Shana, correct me if I'm wrong, it should recalibrate the foods to let you know if that's still high on your list during this period of time. But I would think yes, not. I, that's what I thought, but it's not done that because it says I can eat avocado. It says I can eat it. And it doesn't say I can eat asparagus. Asparagus is a low yellow food. And yet they're giving me recipes that are full of asparagus. As it, as, I, sometimes I, when it does that, you can change the, so you can switch out the asparagus for something that is green because the, you, the recipe will be in general good. So it'll probably be one of those neutral foods. It's not bad for you, but there's something that could be better. And so you can switch it out for something else. Yeah. Um, but, I <laughs> but also if you haven't uploaded the photo, it may not have initiated the protocol effectively. So go back in today straight after and just upload a photo and just finish off that last part of the segment and see if it shifts and changes anything for your protocol. And let us know. Also, okay, so I, I can eat any of my green foods, yep, right? Yeah, as long as it's I can eat edamame, yep, yeah, yeah. Once you've finished, once you upload the photo and see if it recalibrates, see if it's still up the top, because we've also got to keep in mind that this has calibrated for you specifically, and if it's measured your weight as quite low, then it may have changed it for you specifically even though it would be it would be quite unusual to have fat in there for an activator. Mm. Um, so we can inquire about that as well because it's a new tech upgrade. There are some little things in there that are a little bit out of whack occasionally. Well, the, the thing is, the thing we have to remember, guys, is the fact that this is an immune booster protocol. This one isn't the detox protocol. So a lot of the yeah. connectors and, and, and activators are having a completely different detox protocol than last time because... Yeah. The aim of this one is to relax and reset the digestive system and boost your immune system. So yeah. it might actually have avocado, which is a lower, easier digested kind of fat that has a lot of acid in it to assist with the digestive function, yeah. but it also has a greater capacity for nutritional value. So at mm -hmm. this point of call with your body <clears throat> sitting the way that it is, it may actually be yeah. calling for you to have that, that kind of fat yeah. as an okay, because it may have a, a, an immune boosting property that yeah. other things may not that might be required right now 
Yeah, because a detox, so to speak, is a form of stress on the body because you're taking, you're taking, it's a form of stress. So if that stress is going to put you into a point of distress, then it will calibrate the immune boosting protocol to not do that for you at this point in time when your immune system is compromised. Mm-hmm. So that would be my educated guess on, on why there would be um, avocado in there or some yeah. foods in there that wouldn't normally be in there um, for an activator. Yeah. Okay, okay. well, I'll, I'll do that photo and see if anything changes. And if nothing changes or wh- whatever is there after I do the photo, then I can eat all my green foods. I can eat all my green foods because if, I don't like all the recipes that they gave me. I like some of them, but I don't like all of them. I want to mm-hmm. do my own. You're super creative too. So I love seeing what you create. I'd love to see you get on Facebook eventually because you are wonderfully creative and you have so much to contribute, Angela. Thank you, Sharna. (laughs) (laughs) And reach out to us. We don't mind answering any questions. Make sure you reach out to us once you've updated it, if you've got more questions. Um, Okay, and please do that on your your um whatsapp shana because that's yeah. what I've yeah i'll um i'll create a chit chat with sage as well cool yeah perfect okay. um and we'll just take a moment to say hi to lisa who's jumped on hi beautiful hi. how are Hello. you <laughs> great how are you i'm good nice to meet you sage you too I um I was thinking earlier it's a bit different doing coaching calls with people I haven't met before so I was um I was really appreciative that Angela told me a whole bunch about herself before we started so I could get a bit of idea about where she was and um so do you mind telling me a little bit about yourself Lisa? Uh no I can do that um so I met Shana so I'm I actually joined up with Shana last year so I did a 12 month um the PH3 program, PH360 program with Shana. Um, I did fall off the bandwagon and I probably didn't use it to the best of what it has to offer. Um, And so I know for me, I've actually put a little bit of weight on since uh, doing it with Shana and I just need to reboot. And that's probably why I'm on here now is to reboot and get myself um, like you're talking about being hungry. Gosh, I would love to feel hungry. I don't feel hungry. And I have put myself between like a 11, 12 o'clock start where I actually start like either having a juice um, that I create out of fresh fruit and veggies in the day um, to then sort of stopping by eight o'clock at night. And I don't eat between those hours from eight to that 11, 12 o'clock in the day. Mm-hmm. And I don't feel hungry. And I'm just like, holy crap, like I'd love to be able to feel hungry again. And actually I'm just holding on to weight. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Originally I went with Shana because I was feeling bloated and I was getting an upset stomach. Um, I was foggy because I was on blood pressure tablets. I was on two. So I did drop down to the one and I'm still on one, which has been great. And um, just doing a tweaking a few little things in my diet and that has helped, but I have noticed that I just can't budge again. Like I I'm stuck around the, the weight that I don't want to be like, I want to be um, probably about 10 kilos less. Like I don't look it in my face, but mm-hmm. it's all sitting around my gut area. Mm-hmm. And I just, yeah, it just doesn't want to budge. I'm exercising. Um, and I do know I'm doing it at the wrong end. I know Shana will tell me I'm doing it at the wrong end of the day for a diplomat. So, which I know that, but because of what I do, I often can't do it at the time I'm supposed to be doing it. Mm-hmm. So I just do it to keep myself fit. Um, mm-hmm. And it does help me start the day. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I do know a lot of that about myself. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. Hmm. Great. Thank you. And do you, enjoy, do you enjoy the exercise you do in the morning? Love it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Like, cause it is only gentle in a way, like I walk and mm-hmm. I get out in nature. So that's a, right. that's something I love doing is getting out in nature and being part of nature. So I walk and I do increase, like I went for a longer walk the other day, did some intermittent running with it. Um, I've done a little bit of skipping with it. I've added some stretching in with it. 
Um, and then other days I'll just walk and sometimes I'll do a casual walk. Other times I will do like a really fast paced walk. So it, I sort of like change it up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, yeah. The main thing is it's not causing stress in the morning. With no, it's not. No. Um, and then it's possible to look at um, doing some of the other higher intensity work eventually, because it's not number one on your priority. Um, in the or maybe perhaps on the weekends or once or twice a week, but we can work through that once we get to um, talking a little bit more about fitness. Today we'll go more about stress reduction, but we will we can definitely talk more about that sort of thing for you. And what I've discussed at length with Shana many times, she's a diplomat also, and I coach her relentlessly. <laughs> 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 like a true activator that we don't always go to where the problem is because if we work on the problem within the problem we don't often solve it so particularly with diplomats we go to the first priorities because it makes you feel better and then you find the other things that were the problem they just start to dissipate yep so that's what we love so much about PH360 is we can go to the profile we can go to the priorities work there and then the other things start to just has a trickle down effect and it starts to resolve the things that were, were not quite um, keeping you happy. So sometimes with um, weight retention, I'm sure Shana has told you this, actually, she's definitely told you this, uh, weight retention with diplomats and guardians. It can be because you're under stress about other things. Yep. Yep. Particularly this time with your family and being able to provide and things being unsure that can be influencing things. So things you're doing your best everyone's doing their best right now so I don't believe that you've you've sort of um not I can't remember the words that you used but indicating that you didn't do the right thing the last time you did your best everyone's doing their best every single time yes so now we just go second way through you've definitely learned from the past experiences and now we can sort of cycle back go back to the beginning take the experience from the last time and then we can we can start from the beginning again so we all cycle back every single time. Every single one of us cycle back, don't we, Shana? <laughs> we just kind of, we sort of will cycle back, but at a new level because we've got the experience from last time we did it. Yes. And so that's the beauty of, of being able to, to come back here now, I guess. And so are you doing the um, immune boosting protocol as well? Um, I have put myself in the group. I haven't actually fully started. That's okay. And that's... Sana knows me really well. I'm a diplomat as, and I tend to just, it's like I have to put everything in a row, like I have to have my ducks in a row before I actually get myself started. Yeah. And that's a terrible trait. I have to admit it can be a terrible trait. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I've had so many other things coming at me and it's like when I have so many other things coming at me, it's like, I can't deal with that extra one thing. And even though I know I need to do it, I want to do it, it's my priority and I've got it as a goal this year. It's like, I just, that's what's been happening for me. It's like, I can't take another thing. I can't take another thing. So I keep pushing it to the side. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get cranky with myself. I get upset with myself because like, no, this is your priority. This is what you actually need to put ahead of this and ahead of that it just gets, sometimes it just gets too much, I have yeah. to admit. So um, I have got myself in here and I've got myself ready to measure. I was meant to do that yesterday morning. So mm -hmm. I have weighed, I've done the first step. So I have weighed myself. So I'm ready to now find my tape measure and actually measure myself today. So. Oh, great. And that's definitely awesome. So we can yeah. write that down as a big thing that you've, yeah. you're already going to achieve today. Yay. Yeah. We get a little <laughs> heat of serotonin when we do it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So we've yeah. take, that's a big step. And a lot of the time, I know particularly with diplomats, um, the first step's the hard. Well, actually with everyone, the first step's the hardest. And I always think about, I'm a nerd. I'm a closet nerd. So I love the physicists because they, they explain things so well. And one of Newton's laws is it's harder to get something moving than it is to keep it going. I think it's his second law. And so if we imagine a big trolley full of all of our stuff, all of our proverbial shit, we think that it's going to be really hard to push that, but it's only hard to get it moving. 
and then inertia keeps it going. And so a lot of the time we don't do it because we're like, oh, it's so heavy though, I can't push it. But it's only heavy to get it going. So you've done that first bit, you've, you've done the, you will, I'm saying you've done it where you haven't yet, but by the end of the day, you've done the measurements, yes. which is the hardest bit. And then we're there to support you. It doesn't matter how big or small the step is, as long as you know where you want to go and you're taking it in the right direction. Yeah. And then even mistakes aren't mistakes. They're just, what did we learn from that? So that's all we support you through that. So you diplomats are so hard on yourself all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> so hard on I yourself. do agree. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all the thinking and all the feeling and thinking what you should do. And you just sort of, you got to uh, have as much compassion for yourself as you do for everyone else. Cause you guys are always there for everyone else. You have nailed it. <laughs> yes, we are. Got a lot of experience with your... <laughs> My favorite people, by the way. <laughs> so what we'll touch on quickly is, um, We've already spoken a little bit about the food. I wanted to reflect on food. So Shana could um, just help you through that if we had any bits to sort of tidy up from what we're focusing on last time. It, you won't have lost your opportunity to go through food. We can go through that again. Um, today, we were going through uh, your top priorities, which is the best place to start and the most effective way to address stress at this time. So particularly with diplomats, um, Stress can be caused by that overwhelm. And, and I'm speaking with direct experience from Shana a couple of weeks ago. And she, she didn't know where to go because there was so much going on. And then she couldn't take action on it because she felt if she took action, there would be stuff that she was missing. So then she looks for all the things that she's missing and then there's too much stuff and then she doesn't know what to do. And it, we, she processes it very quickly and that's what I mean we all cycle back <laughs> we all have these things that we go through and then the more you are less hard on yourself the more you just go through the process and see what the process is that you're going through oh I'm getting overwhelmed what worked last time what didn't work last time and then we can work through it and you start to then sort of get a little bit more um, momentum going so all of these things are completely normal first of all yeah. And then, so what we can do today is go to the first priority and we can see, all right, well, where can I, where can I sort of create some calm and start to feel a little bit better about some things? And then that creates the momentum and the best place for us to go is our first priority. Funnily enough. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That makes oh, a lot muted. of sense. You're mu you were muted. I am? Not now. I can hear you now. Oh, okay. Um, I just wanted to jump in for a minute. Um, having had a diplomat life for five years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and right now in this uh, COVID-19 quarantine that, that uh, we've been in where I am for, um, we're going into the sixth week now. And I've, I've found that all the house cleaning and the house organizing and the closet organizing and the shelf organizing and the little stacks organizing and all of that, you know, uh, just because we were locked in and now what do I do kind of thing. Well, now, now that we've been told it's going to be at least another, another six weeks, uh, everybody's sort of getting with the program, you know, and I have found that all that organizing that I did really helps with 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 what might have been my fear of starting mm -hmm. something yeah it's like lisa it's like i have my ducks in a row they're on the shelf they're right there on the shelf they're all organized <laughs> and, and so and so yeah you know if i think i don't know if i can start this if everything's together and i look and everything is together mm -hmm. Yep. So that's been really good. Yeah, I love that. I did the same, funnily enough. <laughs> I think Shana did it as well, but a few weeks earlier, um, cleared out some space, yeah. And that another, is such a perfect thing for a diplomat to do. Another thing I wanted to say, Lisa, you said you go for walks. I don't know if you, you're not uh, like locked down as we are here, but... 
I found that that was what I did all the time. I just, if I just had to get out, I'd just run out and literally run, run out and run, you know. Yeah. But now I can't do that. And it has caused me to sort of, you know, get nervous and, and causes mm -hmm. me stress. And what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> you know, I can't run. I can't. I can't go out of the neighborhood, mm -hmm. you know, and that's one of the stresses that I have right now. Yeah. And that so was me like on the weekend. Yeah, sorry. I was like that stir crazy on the weekend. And it's the first time it's really hit me. Um, yeah. It's just like, because I went for my walk and I'm like, my second lap around, I'm like, I'm not into the walk today. It wasn't working for me. And I thought, what's going on? And all I actually wanted to do was sit down on the grass and actually soak up the environment. It's all I wanted to do. I actually didn't want to walk. And I just wanted to sit and meditate and just take it all in. And I knew I couldn't. And that's when I think it started really hitting me. It's like, oh, this is not fair. Like I just want to, because the day was perfect. Everything was perfect. And I couldn't actually sit there and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. and I just mm -hmm. went so I went home because I thought well I can't be in this environment because it's actually not working for me right now because I'm getting more frustrated and and was building up that inside me that stress of not being able to enjoy what I would normally enjoy mm -hmm. yeah we can't yeah. do so, grounding because we can't run on the beach we can't go in the parks we can't go anywhere people would group you know we can't do grounding and when I go out I wear long sleeves and long pants and a hat and shoes and socks, you know, because when we come in, we're supposed to shed all that stuff and put it in the washing machine. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's got to figure out how to deal with that. Yeah. And there's a few things there. And Shana will have heard this spiel from me so she can hear it again. There's two things. So we're, we, it's really important to allow ourselves to express the frustration and say, yeah, I really hate this. And to have days where you go, I'm actually giving myself permission on this day to not cope. Yep. And that's okay. And allowing it and going on this day or for this morning, I'm not coping. And then accepting that I'm not coping. It is totally fine and important. And in doing that, though, the flip side of that is acknowledging I do have to accept that this is happening and I don't like it. Because quite often what happens when these things happen is we have the layer of hating it, but then also the non-acceptance of it and the frustration of that adds another layer of negative emotion to it. So it's totally okay to not like it, but we've got to come to the point of acceptance, which is doesn't mean we agree and it doesn't mean that we like it. But after we've given ourselves that time to go, yes, I hate this and it's horrible and I'm giving my permission at this point in time to not like it, on the flip side, we still have to accept it. And once we go into that period of acceptance, we can go, okay, I accept it. Now I'm okay to go, what, what's my plan from here? So once we accept that we're empowered to then make a plan from there. And the plan doesn't have to happen work the first time. There's no such like, there's no such thing as a plan that I made the wrong plan. It just didn't work the first time. And then we can cycle back and try a new way. So where we're going to at this point is, I'm accepting it, don't like it still. <laughs> and what can we do to help to reduce our stress and start to take some action from this point in time? Someone's got to chat there for me. Shana. Shana's got to jump on a call. Um, we love you, Shana. <laughs> I have to go be a panellist, so I'll, come. I'll either try and jump back in or um, I will talk to you all later. And Angela, I will catch up on all of your conversation as well in the WhatsApp. Tonight, well, and tonight, are you doing group tonight? Yeah. Today, yeah, twelve thirty. So tonight, tonight will be similar. The tonight will run similar. So even if oh, I've got my twelve thirty group call as well oh, as cool. you've got your thing tonight too. Yeah, oh, different one. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah. So what I might take a moment to do now with the pair of you because I it's always a really great idea to touch on why this is important to you you're still here shana oh there she's gone um so we do a little bit of mindset work oh she's still sharing her story. i have to host you so i'll um i'll leave that and jump on my phone are you sure i think i have to host it so so can you do that without um 
Okay, let me know if you have any problems and we'll work something out. Sage, um, I wanted to say just a little bit about what you were saying. Um, there's a lot of, um, well, not really technology, but things, you know, and I go to things. Okay, what can I do? I can't, I can't go out and sit in the sun. What can I do to get yeah. sun? So I recognize places in my house that have morning yeah. sun and then have afternoon sun, and that's where I go. And I have yeah. a have a balcony and and I know that the sun leaves there at 10 30 in the morning so I had take my tea out there at nine in the morning that yeah, beautiful and also for grounding um I have a grounding cloth which is not the same as putting your feet in the grass the earthing the, yeah I know the like, earthing blanket I, yeah I have a, I have a grounding, yeah an earthing an earthing cloth and um also, uh, I don't have a bathtub where I am now. I used to, but if you have a bathtub, that's great to take an Epsom salt bath or something like that. But I have a foot bath, mm -hmm. a bubbly foot bath thing, and I do Epsom salt uh, yeah. foot baths, and that's yeah. grounding. Yeah, and so just trying to substitute um, some things for nature, which is not the best, but it's better than nothing. Exactly, yeah. So... It's exactly, and it's finding those things and finding a new a new type of normal. Um, but what we'll take a little moment to do now, and, and also so I can connect with where you guys, where your point of motivation is, is if you've looked through, um, and Lisa, for you, we'll start in your place section, and for Angela, we'll start with your exercise. But if you can think about why you want to make these changes. And I know both of you will have done these activities with Shana before, but what's your reasoning behind wanting to make these changes at this point in time? And why are you sort of back wanting to start to feel a bit better again? Mm -hmm. Did either of you want to share? Okay. Um, Okay, I'm going to be honest, I just don't like the way I look. Mm -hmm. um, I actually am not probably accepting, mm -hmm. using your word, I'm probably not accepting that I'm getting older. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I've always been someone that has actually been able to probably eat whatever, whenever, up until I hit my 40s, probably around 42, yeah. probably started seeing the change. I was able to just eat and I seem to metabolize quite well and mm -hmm. easily. And I've always maintained a steady weight yeah. and um, hitting my, now I'm 46 going 47. I just have found that it's just not going anymore. And mm -hmm. it's like, I look at food and it stays there. <laughs> it's like, I don't even have to eat it. And it's like, it goes to, <laughs> Um, and I just, yeah, it just doesn't, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not accepting it. I'm not enjoying it. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like the way I've changed and I don't like the way my clothes sit on me mm -hmm. anymore. Um, I've had to put so many clothes away and that just breaks my heart because I've got so many beautiful clothes that I can't wear anymore. Mm -hmm. And when I go shopping and I try clothes on that I have in the past, it's like, oh. Yeah. They just don't look anything on me anymore. They just don't look like they used to look on me. And it's just been really, it's been a negative spiral, I guess, for me mentally. Because um, I have always liked, I've, I like to look nice. I like to, I do, I like to look nice. And mm -hmm. I just don't feel anything looks nice on me anymore. Mm -hmm. I feel frumpy because I am a shorter stature as well. So I feel that it really emphasises it and I don't have, like, Honestly, I only need to lose probably about eight to 10 kilos and I'll be really happy. Right. So it's not a great deal of weight. But for me, I feel like anything I put on, I look shorter, frumpier and it, yeah. And I know that's me being hard and critical on myself. That's like you say, that's the diplomat coming out mm -hmm. in me. Yeah. Um, but th that's me being honest, raw, yeah. honest, open. Yeah. And I don't say that to very many people. I do hold that inside me quite yeah close to my heart and um that's probably why really I just want to feel really good about myself again yeah, yeah. and and thank you for sharing that with us um, I know it's hard to some, be in a vulnerable position but it's really really valuable to feel these feelings because we have pushes and pulls in motivation 
Yep. So to acknowledge that this is how I feel, it's it's valuable, but to sit there is not overly valuable. No. Um, so less. So we've got the push in motivation. If we go to the pull, if you were to feel really great and the weights come off, what would that mean for you? So there's always a deeper, and if you don't mind sharing, there's always other reasons. And maybe I'll share with you a little bit first. And so I can make you a little bit more comfortable about sharing. So the reasons for me doing anything always falls back to my son. And it always, because I'm a single parent, a lot of trauma in my past, it always comes back to empowering myself, doing it for my son. It always fall, comes back to that. And self-worth issues from, I had a career, I was, up, I was educating, I was the boss, going back to cleaning houses. <laughs> to put my son as a priority. So when you've been a mother and you've gone out of the workforce, you've come back in, everything is different. Everything's progressed. You feel like you're left way behind. Everyone's young and they're all on Instagram and they're all, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's, it's not the same industry it was before. So trying to get back to there, I'm like, why do I want to do that? And yes, it is for myself, but it's, it always comes back to, wanting to be a better person, a more confident person and to resolve these traumas from the past. And it's always comes back to, to my child. And so it can be for me, like, um, I've, I, I can get stuck in the opposite to the, um, diplomat. I can get stuck going to bed late, waking up late, but then I get insomnia. Then I'm not as clued on for work, which means I'm not as good coach. My fitness isn't as great and it downward spirals, yeah. <laughs> just those simple things. And so when I don't want to get up early, the real reason behind it is those real reasons of self-worth and why do I want to be good at my job? It comes back to those reasons and that's my motivation and that's what helps me to make those different decisions. Yep. So in me sharing a little bit about that, if you were to go, what's my, what would it mean for me to be, to just put these things in place that would enable me to get to where I want to get so I feel better about myself? what would that mean for you? When you feel better about yourself, what will change for you? Um, mine's probably external more than... I would have the internal because I know when I was younger, a lot of my self-worth was based on what I looked like because I was... I was teased and I was um, put down because I was fair and freckly and, you know, that has left an impact on me. I have been healing that and been getting over that as time's gone on, but I always do at times like I am now, going back to that a little bit. Um, so it comes back to my self-worth and I know for me it's for my partner. It's yeah. to know inside me that I'm enough for him. Of course. Thank you so much. I get, I get cheery. <laughs> this is thank you so much. And that's such a valuable thing to, because then we've got happiness and then you're showing up for him and the diplomat. So if I'm not happy for him, then I'm not. So it's, it's all that stuff about being, a, being the light all the time and being the strong one all the time. And so you don't have to be, that's why you've got us here. A lot of the times your coaches where we can be your strong one. So if you let us know these things, it's not a burden to us ever. That's our job. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much. And it's really useful to remember that thing. So when you're not feeling like it, you're like, well, what does this mean to me? And it's such a beautiful thing. It always comes back to such a beautiful reason that needs love. Yes. <laughs> so yep. Thank you so much for letting thank us you. know. Thank you. Um, so we'll, we'll keep that in mind when we will quickly um, think about a little, a few little things that we can put in place um, to get the ball rolling, to get the momentum going. Okay. Um, but I'll ask Angela now if she um, has anything a little bit the same and why you're wanting to make the changes now, if you're comfortable sharing. Yeah, before I say that, I want to um, mention a book to Lisa. Um, one of my favorite people on the planet is Dr. Mark Hyman, H-Y-M-A-N-M-D. And he wrote, he's written three books recently. And the one I would suggest you read is called, What the Heck Do I Eat? Yeah. What the Heck Do I Eat? 
and it has got a marvelous approach to food in general. And um, anyway, it's a great book. Thank great. You. Thank you. We love a good book recommendation. Yes. I've got the <laughs> list of about 40. <laughs> <laughs> his, his book you wrote right after that is What the Heck Should I Cook? So, you know, you might do <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> okay. So for me, um, what do you want me to say? Why, why am I no. motivated? Why am I not motivated? What, what do you want me well, to Well, you're wanting to make some changes as well. And you are a little bit frustrated. I totally get that. And a lot of the time with activators, we just want to get on with it um, and we don't often have issues with getting started but there'll still be a reason behind why you want to get started mm. and why mm. you want to take action and it's a great idea because you did mention to me you um, you're having trouble getting started and that if an activator is stuck like well what's going on so it's a good oh. idea to reflect on why you want to get started really yeah motivation well i get started but i don't the only part of it yeah you know it, it needs a lot more well i think in general it's it's my time of life um a lot like lisa said you know i'm i'm 77 years old and i've never been 77 years old before you know and i was it's always, you know, miss whatever, you know, I mean, I was the best of this and the best of that, you know, a star athlete and traveled all over the world and had political jobs and, you know, uh, all this stuff. And then, and then I retired and I moved to a foreign country and I don't have any family, I don't have any family, any blood family left on the planet, actually. Wow. Um, and, and so always in the States where I lived, where I grew up, you know, um, I had tons of friends, tons of friends. Well, now I'm in a place where I don't speak the language well. I can get along, I can ask directions, and I can go to the market and all that, but I can't have a conversation with mm -hmm. people, you know. Yeah. And so consequently, I meet somebody nice and say, do you want to have a coffee? And we go to coffee and... And we say, hi, how are you? And I'm fine, how are you? And, you know, <laughs> that's about what I can say in Spanish. Anyway, um, and then just being that age, you know, um, the, the bodily changes, um, the, the mental changes. Um, I'm a change agent. I'm an activator and I'm a... I'm a change agent. Um, I have always enjoyed change. I, I, I call myself the gypsy with panache. When I retired, I made myself little business cards. I said, I need business cards because I want to tell people how to call me. And so I made them and I put up, that's what I put on it, gypsy with panache. And um, I love to travel and, um, and sometimes I end up living where I I travel to I've mm -hmm. lived in five foreign countries and um, you know but always had something to go back to or something to pull on and now I don't now I really don't I don't have family and I've left the United States ten years ago so even my friends I have a few friends that I Skype with once in a while a few friends that send me a birthday card I mean nobody sends I mean, a birthday email, you know, nobody sends Christmas cards or anything anymore. And, no. and, and it's like, you know, when my, my mom died, my dad died 19 years ago, my mom died 17 years ago. And so the last 17 years, it's like, does anybody even know I'm on the planet? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. And again, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing with both of you. Thank you. I understand this can be, it's, it's interesting getting back to the real reasons why. Um, but like I said before, it's, it's so valuable to help us to, to keep, to keep um, it in our mind when we're making changes for the best of us. And Angela, it's so, it's so important that you've started this um, project with Toastmasters. For activators, social is number three for us. And 
I recently, I was making some manuals for some work that Shana and I are doing. And I was like, oh, social's number three for me. And I started to connect with people socially. Mm, <laughs> and yeah. what she said is Sorry. they're all doers. They're all, you be, feel inspired because they're all taking action in their life. Yes. It's such, it is perfect timing for you. Yes, it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's really so great really really wonderful and and it has spilled out over on the edge you know this this woman that we had, we rented a room from for our toastmasters meetings uh had is a little a little tiny uh colombian lady that lost her job and doesn't have any money and stuff and so i've sort of adopted her yeah. now that we're in lockdown and um you know, she's become a dear, dear friend, and um, you know, things have things have gone like that. But but when I'm at home, like activity, you know, trying to say, I, you know, I want to do this, and I know in my mind I want to do this because my body says I want to do this. Yeah. But at the same time, I have shoulds that come on me from a negative standpoint. Why should I do it? Who knows I'm doing it? Who cares if I'm doing it? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, you know, nobody, I mean, I can go for days and nobody calls me and, you know, and it's like, who cares? Yeah. Do I even live on planet Earth anymore? You know? Yeah. Well, I do now because I have Toastmasters meetings every day. But <laughs> and you know what? I can speak from myself as someone who went to Toastmasters and I went and I, um, I let you guys in on a little bit previous. I went because I'm going back into education and after 10 years out feeling in that vulnerable position, the Toastmaster hosts are safe people for people like me. And so you are that person. And then what you get to do is be the safe person for someone to then go and flourish in their life. And yes. it's such a valuable position. Yes. It really, really is. So when you're at your best, you're that. And you can feel the energy of the, the people who are helping you through it. It's such a, it's a little, it's a little safe haven. For, you, for me to be in a vulnerable position and stand up there, you've got the, the hosts who host it and help you through the whole process. So what you're doing is such a valuable thing to be able to help other people go and take action. Yes, I definitely see it as a service project. I it mean, it's, it's service to me because it's organizational and I love it. I can yes. busy myself and I, and I see where it's going and I can use my creativity and all of that for me. But it's a service project. I wanted to be in my new community, yes. helping people expand their lives yes. because I want to continue to expand my life. Yes. And so you're doing it. That's they're the people who care what you do. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. is, it's been from, like, I did it. I've just started doing it. And I'm like, it is such a valuable thing. Like you are very valuable. Thank you. Thank That's you so much. <laughs> so we, thank you girls so much. It's amazing what we can get to by just going through the little processes that we go through. Um, but from this point in time, in saying that, um, what is something, and I'm not sure if you read through your profiles and went through the priority sections, but Angela, for you, it'll be fitness and Lisa, for you, it'll be your place. So if you've had a little read through, was there anything that you came across that you, you thought you wanted to start implementing around exercise or your place? We've already come up with awesome suggestions around decluttering, um, and so, for you to be some sort of activity. So what have we come up with? Um, so I have started that decluttering that you're talking about um, and that organisational stuff. So I did that with my pantry a number of weeks ago. I did it with my laundry cupboard. And mm. um, <laughs> I, my, I have my daughter part-time because um, I'm divorced from her dad and so and some of my son, but... I sent her a message to show her what my laundry cupboard and my pantry looked like. And she's like, wow. And she couldn't believe it. 
And I'm like, yeah, I know it's never been this organized for a long time. Like, yeah. and it just has, it's felt really good because mm -hmm. it's actually got me in such a good place with actually preparing meals. Yeah. Cause I got in a really bad funk and a bad habit of just going down and getting what I've needed because yeah is just down the road so rather than being organized and really thinking ahead of what I what meals I wanted during the week I'd just go oh I'll just eat this tonight and I'll go and grab it and then I'll go again the next day or I'll go again in two days so I got I do know that it was a really bad habit of mine and of course then that's when I would go oh, I feel like a chocolate today and I would get a chocolate whereas I if I don't have it in the cupboard I don't have it in the cupboard and I don't eat it mm. Things like that. So I, so for me to actually have done that, it's actually been a really good thing, and okay. I can see it, and I can feel it, and I know from the meals that I've prepared over the last like three to four weeks is, yeah, it's been astounding. And even my partner's like, because he's had um, leftovers to take to work, and he's loved that being able to just grab out his food and heat it up and eat it basically on the run because that's what he tends to do. Um, so I know that in itself has been a massive shift for me. So mm -hmm. I'm actually going to make sure I do that more often because I did it when my kids were younger because I had to when they were younger. Whereas mm -hmm. now because they're teenagers, it's, it hasn't been as important. And see, I also coach, I coach kids and tweens and I, um, and teens, sorry. And I actually am a teacher part time. So, and I tutor, so I do tutoring, coaching, and so I do three different jobs wow. yeah. and um, so I can get quite busy, really busy. And I know that food then is my last priority. It's like, mm -hmm. that's why I got into that habit. Yeah. So it's been really nice to actually have, have changed that. And yeah. so I am going to make sure I continue doing that and, and prioritize that like on a Saturday or a Sunday and go, right. Whether I do it online or whether I actually go to the shops, I'm still in two minds. Online may be better for me to do it, order food and then have them bring it to me. Um, well, you've already doing it. You've exactly just lined out the, the task. <laughs> yeah. So but, great. So let's <laughs> come up with let's come up with exactly what it is you're going to do now. Are you okay to do that? You've already yeah. thought about it. Yes. Um, yeah. So food delivered, do you want to set a day for the food to be delivered? Or when will you do the, because you need time to do the, fill out that online shopping list, right? Yeah. And so, so when. I'm sort of deciding which way I'd go because I do actually like having that ability to go out to the shops and have that little, like just walking around, having a look, taking my time and making sure I've got everything I need. I do actually like that. Mm -hmm. um not always but when I do when I am in that frame of mind I do really enjoy it so mm -hmm. I guess that week I would do it and then another week I might be able to do the online shopping when I maybe my time isn't as free yeah awesome and this is the thing with the diplomat is that sometimes you'll think about these things like all the different options and then you're like well I'm not sure what one I'm going to want to do and then mm -hmm. you end up not doing it yep that's me <laughs> Indecision. <laughs> the thing is, and I'm like I said, I'm a thorn in Shana's side. I say like it actually, if you say I'm going to do it online, and then that actually doesn't work for you, it doesn't matter. It's like oh, that didn't work. Let's try the new thing. So, in saying that, what will be? Oh, what have I done? It's okay, I've just done something. I'm not the greatest on computers either. <laughs> it's okay. There you are. Um, in saying that, what would be a good place for you to start, say, this week? Um, well, for me is to make a list. So to actually right. look in my pantry and go, right. Um, and to do the, to do a, uh, what do you call it? Um, plan, like a meal plan. Awesome. So, so having those line up. Mm. Excellent. And so... You do your measurements today. Yep. And are you then going to activate the immune boosting protocol or are you just not going to do everything all at once? Are you just going to do the measurements and then start to integrate some of the foods or what's your plan with where you're starting now? 
Okay. Um, so what I would probably do, knowing me, I would do the measurements and then I would put them in and um, have a look, like I would have a quick look at and just try and take probably a small chunk of what I'm reading in mm -hmm. before then I take the next step. Yeah, cool. So as far as food goes, um, and we meant to go to place, but you've already actually changed your place mm -hmm. around food which then makes your food easier. So I love how you've just exactly honoured a diplomat, like change the area, the place of the food. Yeah. And now you're ready to change the food. Perfect. Yeah. So in saying that, you'll do the measurements, you'll get the food list. When will you write that list? Are you just going to take the foods from the, um, the highest priority, like your excellent foods? Are you going to add, do you know what you're going to do? Um. That part I probably don't know. What okay. I would, yeah. Um, so how are you going to get to the food list, the shopping list? How are you going to get to writing that? Um, well, I'd definitely have to have the meal plan, wouldn't I? Work out. Uh, yes, if you do yeah. it that way. So yeah. you use the PHV60 meal plan? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so once you've done the meal plan, you can then, you can automatically formulate that shopping list. Ah, oh, so then you'll look in the pantry, take off what you don't need. Okay, so yeah. that process, which then will lead to the actual shopping, yes. is your, are you planning to do that over the next few days and then shop on the weekend? Yes, yeah. Beautiful. That's yeah. all we do. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that couldn't get in the way of that? Um, me being lazy? Being a procrastinator, lazy is not the right word, but being a procrastinator and putting it off. So I would put it off if something else came up that needed my, I needed to do that prop like over. Is over there anything it. that could? Oh, easily for me. <laughs> I'll be honest, easily. And what sort of thing? I get drawn in by, I do, I get drawn in quite easily by external stuff, very easily. So if I'm on Facebook and I'm scrolling and someone has some fabulous thing, I will be there and I'll be looking at it and I'll be, and that's where I get my overwhelm because I go, oh, that looks awesome. That looks like something I need to do. Then I'll go and look at something else. And so I actually have to stop myself. I actually have to focus really physically say to myself, no, you've already done an hour on Facebook, get off Facebook or, you know what I mean? It's yeah. easy for me to get to digress. It's easy for me to get taken off track very easily. Yes. So there's two things there. Are the things you're looking at more important than the reason behind you doing this? No. Cool. And... <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe you've considered all the other options and that doing this is the best option for you? Yes, I do. Yes, because I have seen it work. Excellent. When I did it with Shana, like I saw it work. I saw how easy it was. Not, no, I wouldn't say easy because I did have to change things, but I could see, like you were saying, that tri trickle effect when I was... When my place was um, organised, when I was getting into really good routines where I would make sure my bedroom was in order, um, when mm. I would go, right, my laundry's on, right, I've done this, right, I've done that. Like, I could see how easily that worked for me yeah. and how, how things changed and how mm. quickly they changed for me. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So in, in those two, uh, those two possible things that could get in the way, really, they are probably not going to get in the way. Okay. Or would, would you think? If I'm, if I continue to be mindful and continue to go, this is not getting me where I need to go. This is not supporting me. This is not helpful. If I can keep telling myself that I should be right. Okay, and you yep. reached out to us as well. Yep. And so we've got the plan. We've got the plan. Would you like to be, how would you like to be held accountable for that? Would you like to send us in a photo of the food once you've done it or would you like us to check? Great. 
Yeah, I can do that, definitely. Excellent. And mm -hmm. I want you to know at this point, when we keep doing these coaching calls, say I have another one, what day is it, Monday, next Monday, and I see how you've gone with it all. Yeah. If something got in the way, don't worry. We will then make a new plan. I don't okay. think that's going to happen. I think you've got a week to be able to do this. or But we'll come up with a new plan. And it might mean we've got to go back into the play section more and go room by room and start organising the place a little bit more. Yeah. And so that could be a valuable thing that we look we go back to as well. Like Because you, you mentioned that to me, when everything, your household was working well, everything else worked well. Mm. So we've got the kitchen and we're going to... So this is what we do. We're like, okay, the kitchen's organised. Let's see if going to food works because the kitchen's organized. If it doesn't, maybe we need to get the whole house organized. Yeah. And that's all okay. Mm -hmm. But we've got this plan happening and I'm, I think this is a good plan. It's just one step at a time, but it's still quite a big step. Yes, it is, yes. Yeah, it's yep. still quite a big step, but you're doing it. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. <laughs> First step's the hardest. <laughs> It is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no problem. And Andrew, have you got something on your mind as far as preferably movement based, but it doesn't have to be. Well, I want to get to the movement thing. I think what I need to do uh, basically is schedule and I need to, I need to rein in this Toastmasters project. Uh -huh. um, you know, yeah. because I'm an organizer of the club and I'm the vice president in charge of membership and I'm the, and I'm the treasurer of the club. And, and as the organizer, most of the work is as the organizer of the club. It requires me to talk to this person and that's an hour and talk to this person and that's an hour and talk yeah. to this person and that's yeah. an hour, you know, that kind of thing. So. I was just thinking yesterday, maybe I just need to say, these are the, mm -hmm. I'm not going to, I did say yesterday, I'm not going to do any Toastmasters on Saturday. I need a day. Oh my gosh. I just, ah! you know, as much as I love it, it just, it consumes me. So yeah. I need to do that. And maybe I can just say, I'll just do two Toastmasters from, I'm thinking 10 to 12, Perfect. three or four mornings a week. And five to seven those right. same nights in the week because some of the people are working and I can't talk to them in the day and that sort of thing and that way then I could fit in the schedule for the fitness exactly. you know and say okay I'm not going to do Toastmasters between three and five I'm not going to I am not going to do this, you know. What I used to do before Toastmasters is just watch webinars by the hours, by the hours, you know, all these health webinars and spiritual webinars, those were most of them, and then webinars about EMFs and, uh, you know, I, I, oh, that, like Lisa was saying, oh, that sounds interesting, <laughs> uh, oh, that sounds really good, uh, you know, and I don't do Facebook, but same thing. Thing, only with a webinar they have 40 speakers over 10 days you know and it's like you know, <laughs> endless and, uh, <laughs> well, you've pretty much half come up with your plan so scheduling which is a diplomat diplomats love scheduling i love mm -hmm. scheduling um and so it's awesome for activators to do daily exercise so yes would you be ready to schedule daily exercise and it's just daily movement it doesn't have to be highly intense yes it should uh, yeah in my mind i i have it scheduled i've had it scheduled for a month or two i just don't do it <laughs> would you like to what would help you what would help you to actually because activators normally take action so what would help you to take action yeah. lots of time we're like oh well i'll just do it when are you going to start oh tomorrow how are you going to start? I'm just going to do it. <laughs> That's normally how activated will roll. <laughs> my big excuse is my IBS. And, um, and it's more than an excuse. I mean, it's a reality too. But when my gut's bad, I just have no motivation for anything. No. And I had about three and a half weeks of, of diarrhea mm -hmm. last month. And I just, you know, I just didn't feel like doing anything. Yeah. But anyway, I, 
Um, I do get up early. I try to get up between 6.30 and 7, and I do stretches. Perfect. I would like to do my Qigong in the morning, mm -hmm. but that's an hour, and I'm not sure I want to devote an hour before I start my day. Why not? Because well, because I also have, I really have two hours before I start my, before I turn on my phone and before I yeah. have breakfast and before I do anything. And that two hours is full without an hour of it being Qigong. I do my meditation. I, I make my bed. I do my shower. Mm -hmm. I have my tea in the sun on my balcony, you know, yeah. from seven to nine, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to think about anything else. And I don't. Yeah. And, and then sometimes if, if that goes till 10, then, then my, my whole day is pushed back. Yeah. And yeah, then, yeah. then I have to do this and I have to do this and I have, Oh my gosh, it's two o'clock and I haven't done that yet. You know, yeah. three o'clock and I haven't done that yet. So I'm not going to be act, um, doing my exercise at three because I have to do something I didn't do this morning. You know, the, yeah kind of thing so so um yeah my gut is much better these last couple of weeks right although i've lost weight and so that's kind of concerning me with this reset program like i said yeah but i'm gonna try it's only five days on the reset so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to just i eat at 10 12 2 4 and 6 and not eat a lot. Mm -hmm. Last night at six, I made a huge baked sweet potato mm -hmm. with nothing on it, of course. But I love them anyway. Yeah, I mean, no, no butter or anything like that. But I just ate the whole thing, and I was not too full, and I went to bed happy yeah, right. <laughs> because so, it, it was well digested, you know, by eleven o'clock. So. So I think I I would like to I would like a way to be accountable. That's one thing, uh, you know. To and I do sometimes I write it into Sharna, but uh, she writes back and says, "Oh, that's great," but she doesn't write back if I don't write in, you know, yep. and say, "Where are you, Angela? Yep. Where are you?" <laughs> <laughs> what is, <laughs> Put reminders so, down, but we're, I want to bring you back to fitness and prioritizing that. Mm -hmm. When can you prioritize it? And when does your gut feel okay to be able to do that? And if it's not, if it's not every day, would you consider prioritizing fitness on one or two days and then seeing if you generally felt better? Oh, I... Uh, yeah, I think more than that. I mean, it has to be at least four days a week. It's preferably every day. I mean, I, yeah, because I I know Sage. When I do it, it's like you idiot. Why don't you do this all the time? Every time, even when I start doing it, you know. Sometimes I get upset with myself. It's it's five o'clock or six o'clock, and. Um, and I haven't done my fitness and I need to do something, but I'm watching a webinar or something like that. I'll just turn the computer around and I'll just jump on my trampoline because I just have to move, you know? <laughs> and, yeah. and within five minutes of jumping on that trampoline, I just am beating myself up. Why don't you do this, Angela? Look how wonderful you feel when you do this. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's what, are you ready to make, any changes now? Are you ready to prioritize the fitness? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need to, what's squeezing me out is all this time with the Toastmasters. I need to block those out into certain sections of the day when I when are Toastmasters and block out this is activity, you know, fitness yeah, time. Yeah, your, your other, your diplomat link is coming in, I would say. So, um, normally I'd let you come up with it, but I'm just aware of time for all of us. Um, would you, do you think it would help you over say the next week to just start to block Toastmasters in and then you can see where you have time to put the fitness in? 
Yeah, and I have a question. Um, I'm looking at my fitness schedule here. What about evening time? Uh, it says avoid stimuli after nine, but sometimes, you know, I want to jump at nine. Because you haven't done it before. So you might find, and I don't have obviously your profile in front of me, but mine has changed recently. But it used to say if I hadn't drained my energy by five o'clock, then to drain the energy at five. Otherwise, it told me to finish up tasks around five o'clock. But because Last energy you know, reserves between three and five. Yeah, so that's the optimal time. So how about for you, rather than starting it, just see where you can fit it into the schedule. So start scheduling the other things that in this point in time, Toastmasters and the social side for you are really important and it is in your top three priorities. And so would it what's be... Number two, what's number two, Sage? Food. Food. Mm. I cook. I cook a lot. I mean, that takes a couple hours a day too. To yeah. Cook. And so, well, your nutrition. So I would say, if I may just suggest, how about for your for the plan at the moment for what you the task is just to create space for the fitness and see how it's going to fit in there okay and kind of think three to five yeah and kind then next phase will actually be doing it but you might find once you've set the plan in place and scheduled it that you're like oh well i've set the time to do the fitness and i can see where i fit everything else into my day i'm okay to do it there so there is, I, there is this link to the diplomat there in your profile, I would think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I still could do Qigong, for instance, um, at nine o'clock at night or 10 or 10 o'clock at night, you know, right before I go to bed, I could do that. Mm. It says not, it says time to relax, but that's relaxing. Mm. Avoid that's stimuli, the, that's not stimuli. Yes, and that's yeah. the thing. Just like with the diplomat training in the morning, if it's not stressful, if mm. that's a relaxing thing to do and it's not causing stress, then it is okay. It's preferable at night time, but if it isn't causing stress to your body, it's fine. So for you, if you feel better when you do that, and it's a form of activity, so the, the activator is about being active. If it's an active form of relaxing you, awesome. Because we actually do, in order, normally for activators, if you get us to sit still and meditate, it's not as effective as if we're moving and going into a meditative state. Right. I do a walking meditation too. And, and when I'm out on my balcony, I'm on the 12th floor, and I see some of the other buildings have opened up their roofs. So I see people walking. Mm, and wow, but cool. Our building has not opened up its roof. And so mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't move, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I have a room all set up. I have a Pilates ball and a yoga mat and a trampoline. And I have a sauna. I have oh, weights. I have, okay. you know, I have everything I need, but I'm by myself in a, in a room. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to try to wrap it up quickly. And I know you won't mind that because activators don't. No. So no. quickly, what is, what are you going to do now with, we know your motivation. We understand that. We know how important it is for you to be active. We know how much better you feel being active. So what are you going to do from today? Actually, tonight I'm going to make an hourly schedule for a typical day. And then I'm going to figure out what days of the week to do what. Great. I love that. And nothing will get in the way of you doing that? Tonight? No. 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 And then from there, you can take action as far as start the exercise? Yes, I can tomorrow. Great. And how would you, would you like to send that in or would you like to message Shana the plan? Or would you like, because um, I understand sometimes that Shana won't check up on you, but can we ask you to hold yourself accountable to Shana and tell her when you've done it? Just to make the plan tonight, you mean? Yep. And then when you've done the first exercise session? Sure, sure. Is that okay? 
Yeah, that's good. I did that about three weeks ago and um, I did the plan and I told her and I, well, I didn't do the plan. I didn't do the plan. That was just kind of yeah. Rough. And But I did the first day and I told her and then I skipped a day and I did the second day and I told her and then I didn't do any more. <laughs> so, I, so that was probably so we've got to we've got to hold you like you hold yourself accountable to Shana so just keep letting her know or me she's going to put me in the group chat I'll probably won't forget I'll probably just keep nagging <laughs> yeah well that's yeah that's the thing I mean I was an only child too I mean my whole life I've been pulling myself up by my bootstraps and Sometimes it's just like, I'm tired of that, you know, just. Okay, well, we will, I'll chat to Shana and then I'll, we can come up with a way where we check in on you regularly. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. That's okay. My pleasure. Um, thank you so much, both of you. It's been really lovely. It, do you have any questions before we, we conclude? No, I don't think so. I think it's all good. No, I'll be talking to Shana in two hours um, on the other group call. Yeah, cool. Just I'll chat to her briefly now and let her know what we've come up with. And then we'll keep you posted on when our um, next calls will be next week. Probably let, there'll be one later on this week, I would say. And so it'll be good to touch base then as well. Okay. Yeah. Nice Wonderful. to meet you, Lisa. Yeah, nice to meet you, Angela. Yeah, so nice to meet both of you. Thank you so much for sharing with me yeah. today. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you both have a Thank wonderful you, Sage. day. All right. Thank you. Thank right. you. See, ya. See you later. Bye. Bye.